Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invites you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Ash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. <laughs> You know, friends, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is a typically American product that appeals to people of all ages and nationalities in all parts of our country. And the Wrigley people feel that Life with Luigi is a typically American radio program, a friendly, enjoyable show that sort of symbolizes the American spirit of tolerance and goodwill. So they're glad to bring you Life with Luigi each week and have you join them in this pleasant half-hour's entertainment. And now, let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, <laughs> today is the Saint of Valentine's Day in America. And to celebrate, I'm going out on a date. <laughs> date, Mamma Mia, that's me, and I'm going out with a girl. <laughs> One girl is a single date. Is also a double date. That's if I'm going out with a Pasquale, he's a fat daughter of <laughs> But no, I'm not going out with a rush. Any man who takes her out for dinner must also bring along a refrigerator. <laughs> but this girl I'm taking out is called Shirley. And she's a waitress in a hamburger store a few blocks away. She's a very nice girl. And I'm thinking she likes me. Because every time she puts my hamburger on the stove, she gives it to one extra pat. <laughs> Anyway, I'm always the one to make a date with Shirley, so I'm gonna start to tell her about the you and Uncle Pietro. And he's a goat. Also, Aunt Tanatella's a goat, and Mario the Rooster, and Josephine the Chicken. <laughs> and then this girl, Shirley, is to say, You know, Luigi, you must have come from a very nice family. <laughs> well, that's all I'm gonna need, Mamma Mia. I'm no bashful. Tomorrow, Shirley and me, we're going to the movies. Oh, I was a felt a so excited when I left the store. I'm a left to Shirley a 25 cent a tip. And I think she was excited too because she's a left to me 15 cents a change. <laughs> well, it's a time for my night school class, Mamma Mia. So I'm going to finish this letter later. Oh, you beautiful Dolly, you great big beautiful Dolly. <laughs> That's all right, sir. Don't worry about that. All right, class. Quiet. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basso? Present. Mr. Harwood? Present. Mr. Olson? Present. Mr. Schultz? Why should I be different? <laughs> oh, thank you, fellow boobers. Oh, it gives me such a feeling of security to know you're going to laugh even if I'm not funny. <laughs> All right, Mr. Schultz. Now, class, today we're reviewing our grammar and we'll go over our verbs. Mr. Horowitz. With pleasure. It so happens I went over my verbs last night. Good. Then you may tell us the four different types of verbs. Well, let's see. There's the transitive type. Very good. The intransitive the regular or the, uh, 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 uh... The regular or the what? Regular or mobile gas. <laughs> no, no. Mr. Schultz, will you tell Mr. Horowitz the answer? Certainly not. What am I, a squealer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come now. Verbs may be intransitive, transitive, regular, or what? Mobile gas is no good? <laughs> no, of course not. I don't know. It gives me 17 miles to the gallows. <laughs> really? Doesn't anybody know the answer? I do, Miss Folding. Intensitive, transitive, regular, or irregular. That's very good. There he goes. Smorgasbord with brains. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Please, Mr. Schultz. Now, let's get on with our lesson. Mr. Basco? Huh? Take the verb go. Now, give me a sentence using the past tense. Well, uh, we was a went to the movies. No, no, not we was went to the movies. Why, picture wasn't no good? <laughs> Mr. Basco, forget about the picture being good or bad. But I'm a spoiling, I'm not going to forget it. The pictures have got to be good. Why? Because, uh, because I'm a taking a girl to see it. Oh. oh. Girl? Luigi, you got a girl? Oh, oh, tell us all about it, Luigi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is she, Luigi? Well, uh, uh, he's a, a girl of waitress, and she's, she's a work in a hamburger store near me. For the hamburger store? Mm. Tell me, how is she built? Medium or well done? <laughs> Smile, Luigi. I'm just trying to make fun. <laughs> uh, Luigi, oh, I know a wonderful picture playing downtown. Very nice. It's all about nature and farming. Oh, it's very educational. Oh, isn't that just like you to pick out the educational picture? <laughs> what is wrong with that? When you take out a girl to the movies, you don't try to improve your mind. You try to improve your chances. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, but uh, wait a minute, Mr. Schultz. I'm, I'm a no understand you. Ach, stop worrying about it, Luigi. Comes tomorrow, take your girl to the movies. Buy two tickets to the balcony. It's nice and dark, so right away you give her a kiss. <laughs> Schultz, uh, Schultz, I'm a no wanna do that. Uh, when you put your arm around her. I'm a no wanna do that. Uh, will you hold her by the hand? No. You know something, Luigi? I think you should take her to see the educational picture. <laughs> My friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, Pascali. <laughs> hey, what are you so happy about, the little banana nose? <laughs> huh? Well, Pascali, tomorrow I'm going to the movies. There's a picture with the Moxa brothers, and it's called the Love Happy. So you're going to be Love Happy, huh, little pumpkin ahead? <laughs> Now it's going to be Groucho, Harpo, Chico, and Luigio. <laughs> I think the love of happy is a good picture because uh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, taking a girl with me. A girl? A Luigi, my own little cabbage, you pussy. Come here. Mm. No, no, that's why I please. Enough kisses. No. Oh, my Rosa, she's going to be so happy. <laughs> Luigi? <laughs> This uh, movie is going to be on me. I'm going to pay for the two tickets, and beside this, uh, I give you two slugs to put in the popcorn machine. <laughs> no, Pasquale, wait. I'm not taking a rush. What? I'm taking another girl. Another girl? Uh -huh. Listen to you, one great. There's only one reason I'm brought you here from Italy, to marry my daughter, Rosa. Pasquale, why can't a Rosa find us some other fella here in America? Because of her taste is a very high class, and she's happened to like imported stuff. <laughs> oh, Luigi, she's a, such a wonderful girl. She can cook, she can keep a house, she can sew, she can wash, iron, and knit. What else can you ask her from a Rosa? She should have married somebody else. <laughs> oh, I'm so mad I could have bust. All right, go, go. Take her as a girl to the movies, a seal fire. Uh, movies, eh? That's all right, Pasquale. We're going to the movies. Uh, Luigi, I was all wrong. Like you say, you've got a right to go out with other girls before I make you a choice of you. Oh, good. Good, Pasquale. I'm glad you see my point. Oh, that's the one thing about me, Luigi. I may be stubborn, but when I get an idea in my head, it's to come right to the point. <laughs> yeah, you, you're so right, Pasquale. You got the, the most pointy head I know. <laughs> That's a funny thing. And when I'm a say it, it's a come out of different. <laughs> well, anyway, I hope you enjoy. Uh, what's the matter, Pasquale? Luigi, I just told her something. In America, is an unwritten law on a Valentine's Day not to take a girl to the movies. What? That's all right. If you do, it's a violation of the TVA. TBA, what's that? 
Technical Valentine Association. <laughs> uh, they're in charge of all the legal technicalities. But don't worry yourself, Luigi. You're allowed to take it to nightclubs. Nightclub? But uh, ain't that expensive? No. Besides, you're very lucky. If you tell a nightclub you go to night school, uh, they give you 20% off a professional discount. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, but the food ain't that expensive. Ah, it shows how little you know, Luigi. In the nightclubs, everything is served a la carte. A la carte? That's a very cheap. It means the food is served in the push carts. <laughs> and then if you bring along your own tablecloth, there's a no cover charge. <laughs> also, you get, a, you get a ringside of seats. That saves a lot of money, and you don't have to watch the fights if you don't want to. Well, that's nice, but uh, Pasquale, I'm going to want it. It should be too cheap. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to fix you up right now. I've got to call up a place that they call the pump room. Pump room? Uh. Hey, seems to me I'm a heard it's expensive. <laughs> what a boob. How can it be expensive? It's right next to the firehouse. <laughs> Luigi, you're going to make a fine impression out of your girl. Hello? Hello, pump room? I'm going to like to reserve a table for two tomorrow night. A uh, name, uh, Luigi Bosco. Yes, the ring aside. <laughs> That's a good. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Oh, Pasquale, you're a real friend to help me out. Who else would do such things to me? Nobody. That's all right, to nobody. <laughs> well, go, 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 Luigi. Get a good night's sleep, so you're going to be all rested up for tomorrow. All right, Pasquale. Thanks, and a good night. Good night, good night. <laughs> <laughs> What's so good about it? <laughs> Wait till his girl starts ordering a big with a champagne and the steaks and the things. Oh, oh, oh. When the Luigi takes a look at that check, he's to think he's going to be paying the back for the whole Marshall plan. <laughs> So, Mamma Mia, today I'm taking a Shirley out to real American nightclub. I'm a called her up and I told her I'm a taking her out to the pump room. And she's a sound that is so surprised and happy. Luigi, my fellow boob. Oh, oh, hello, Schultz. <laughs> well, what movie are you going to see? No movie, Schultz. We're going to the pump room. The pump room? You? Sure, yeah. No, Luigi, you can't go there. Huh? The only reason they call it the pump room is because you got to own an oil well to pay the check. <laughs> yeah, but, but a short of Pasquale used to tell me that TVA is unwritten a law against the movies. But a nightclub is a not charging me for cover if I'm a watch of the fights with my own tablecloth. <laughs> Who oh, that scheming Pasquale has he got you for shimmered? <laughs> Luigi, did you tell the girl about the bump room? Yeah. Well, you call her right up and tell her you are taking her back to the movies again. But, uh, but what the reason? No reason. Tell her anything. Tell her, uh, tell her you got virus pneumonia and you spent all your money on bromo quinine cold tablets. <laughs> what? Make up something. All right, sir. Uh... All right, the Schultz, I'm a caller. Mamma mia. Schultz, is it at the telephone? Well, then it ain't me. <laughs> Answer it. All right, sir. Hello? Hello, Luigi. This is Shirley. Oh, Shirley, I, I, I was just going to call you. Oh, mental telepathy? No, on a telephone. <laughs> I look, uh... Look, Shirley, I'm... Let me tell you first. I just had to tell you I got a special evening gown for tonight. Well, Shirley, I'm a want to tell you that... Oh, you got a special evening a gown for tonight? Too? Yes. Oh, and I look just wonderful in it. Uh, what do you want to tell me, Luigi? Oh, nothing. Uh, just, uh, uh, just a goodbye. <laughs> well? Sure, sir. Uh, I'm going to get the heart to tell Shirley to go to the movies. She's got a special evening in the Ghana for tonight. What am I going to do? 
What are you going to do? What can you do? Smile! <laughs> Only now that she's wearing evening clothes, you gotta wear a tuxedo. <laughs> tuxedo? Yeah, yeah. You see, nightclubs are very democratic. They don't want to be able to tell the customers from the waiters. <laughs> Luigi, tell me this. How much money you got, hmm? Twenty dollars. Is that enough, sir? That ain't enough to dress like a waiter. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. Into my head, an idea just pooped. <laughs> I, I know a place where you can rent a tuxedo for just a few dollars. Oh, that's a wonderful shoes. Yeah, yeah, come on, get dressed, you go right there. Then maybe you can stretch the rest of your money. Stretch it? Yeah, yeah, sure. When the waiter brings you the menu, just tell him you want a salami sandwich, a bottle of Pepsi Cola, and two glasses. <laughs> no, no, wait, wait, oh, what, wait, what, wait, what's, wait. What's the matter? The glasses might be too expensive. Yeah. You better ask for two straws. Mama, <laughs> mama. No, don't worry, Luigi. Smile. No, you'll get the tuxedo. You'll look like a million dollars. And believe me, you're going to need it when the check comes. <laughs> This is going to be terrible. Ah, so what? Cheer up. Be like me, Luigi. Smile. <laughs> Always laughing. <laughs> <laughs> My rheumatism is killing me. Good evening, sir. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm a... Uh... I'm coming here to rent a uh, uh, tuxedo. Good. You're about a size 38. Uh -huh. Here's one your size. You also get the starched white shirt and the bow tie with it. Oh, so that's a tuxedo, huh? <laughs> Once I saw a man in the street that he's wearing a suit that just like this and his shirt is a light up and it say, Eat at the Sands. <laughs> <laughs> but this, uh, this shirt don't light up, huh? Absolutely not. That would have cost the extra, huh? Look, mister, I can't waste all night gabbing with you. This suit will cost you six bucks for the night. Six dollars for the night? That's our regular price. Oh, please, uh, please, uh, make a little less regular. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to get much money, and I'm going to promise I'm going to take a good care of the suit. I'm going to sit the very light under the pants. <laughs> And if the waiter is a spill of mustard from the hot dog, I'm going to clean it up for myself. Please, mister. Well, it is kind of late in the evening, and we do have what we call an emergency charge. If you bring the suit back before midnight, the charge is half. Three dollars. Three dollars? That's a fine. I'm going to bring it back before midnight. That'll be three dollars plus a two-dollar deposit. Five dollars. Five dollars. <laughs> Gotta have a deposit. As it is, it's a bargain. All right, to hear it. That's uh, leaving me fifteen dollars. Fine. By the way, where are you going? Uh, the pump room. I'm uh, taking my girl there for dinner. On fifteen dollars? Terrible, huh? Well, just remember, in case you have to wash dishes, roll those sleeves up first. <laughs> I'm crazy about this place. The pump room. I never thought you'd be the type to go here. Oh, yes. Some of the type, all right. I'm a coming here all the time. Oh, well, uh, I do, too. All the time. In fact, I'm a getting tired of this place. Oh, well, so am I. You are? Yes. Good. Then let's go to the movies. Oh, no. No, now that we're here, let's, let's stay. All right. Shelley. That's a beautiful dress you're wearing. Oh, thank you. Do you like it? Oh, sure, only... Only, only what? Only I think uh, they put on the bottom of what they forgot to put up on the top. Oh. <laughs> Silly, they come that way. Oh, I'm not complaining. Oh. <laughs> Luigi, you look very handsome in your tuxedo. Thank you. I've got so many, I'm, I, I'm, I don't even like it to wear them. Oh, Oh, it's the same with me and my gowns. I, I have dozens. Me too. Dozens. <laughs> Pardon, sir. Would you like to order something to drink before dinner? Yes, uh, two glasses of water. 
Would you care for a Manhattan? No, I'm a happy hero with the Chicago. Sir, joking aside, we have some excellent champagne. Mum's Cordon Rouge. Mum's Cordon Rouge? Yes. 1943. 1943? Mamma mia, that's almost $20. $20, very good. You know, I'm laughing so hard. I'm laughing so hard that now I'm not able to drink nothing. Well, I'll leave these menus here, sir, and I'll be right back. Oh, it's, it's an old honey. Huh. The menu. A la carta. Whoops. <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Luigi? You just turned white. Well, that's from a laugh, and I'm a lost to my appetite. Then. <laughs> Don't be silly. You must force yourself. Oh, look at the wonderful things they have. Filet mignon, stuffed duck, pheasant under glass. I take it that they were two straws. <laughs> oh, I... I, I thought you said something else. Well, I read. Steak, six dollars. Lamb chop, five dollars. Something in French, eight dollars. <laughs> More French, eight and a half dollars. I think I'm better go back to the English. Maybe I'll take a cup of coffee. Uh, yes, sir. Have you made your selection? Well, uh, well, surely I'm going to put myself in your hands. I, 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 I mean, uh, it's up to you. Oh, I... I don't feel like eating. What? Oh, Shirley, order something. Are you sure? Of course, order something. Well, uh... Then first bring me some tomato juice. That's uh, something. I'll have that too. A and then you can give me a portion. <laughs> Good. That was awful good, Luigi. Yeah. You, you, you have enough to eat, Shirley? Oh, sure. And I never thought an egg sandwich could be that delicious. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I'm uh, glad that you like it. Hmm, it's uh, getting late. Oh, wait a uh, uh, check. Uh, yes, sir. Ah, let me see. Come on, Mommy, $17. Something wrong? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you wait to hear, Shirley. I'm going to come right back. Hey, wait, come here, please. I'm going to talk to you. Don't tell me. I can see it coming. <laughs> Can't pay? Yeah, but please, I, I'm going to get most of the money. And, and when I'm going to return this suit, I'm going to get the rest. But if, if you want the money now, I'm going to wash you the dishes. Oh. <laughs> One of them playboy busboys, huh? Well, look, my friend, this isn't just a restaurant. This place has got a philosophy. Today's pauper is tomorrow's millionaire. That's America. That's right. I've been a pauper so long, I'm due any day now. <laughs> Look, friend, uh, I'm going to go turn in my tuxedo and I'll bring the money right back. Only, please, uh, please uh, don't tell my girl. Uh, well, sure, sure, go ahead. Thank you. Well, Luigi, my friend. Pasquale. And look who else, Rosa. Come here, Rosa. <laughs> oh, Luigi. Hey, Pasquale, Rosa, what are you doing here? Just a checking up. Just to look out of you. I bet you a girl that thinks you a millionaire. Hey, please, please, Pasquale, don't make a trouble for me. Hey, Rosa, don't he fool you? Wouldn't you think you looking at a millionaire? No, Papa, he's just Luigi to me. That's all right. They're just a bum. <laughs> and these girls are going to find that out right now. I'm going to tell them. No, wait, the way to pass No, no, don't, no, don't, don't stop me. I've been watching you all this time. That's at the table. Hey, where is she? Where? Mamma mia. My girl, she's a gun. Oh, 
She was a Southern Augusta with a mistress and left her without even a saying a goodbye. Well, now maybe I ought to teach you a lesson. Or maybe you oh, could... No, no, I'm going to go. It's almost the midnight. Hey, wait till the week. No, no, I'm going to get the $2 dollars back. Goodbye. Wait, what's going on here? Rosa, why do you think he's got to be somewhere before midnight? I don't know. Maybe he'll turn into a pumpkin. No, oh, <laughs> shut up, you face. <laughs> Well, you didn't have to rush that much. You still have ten minutes. Ah, oh, well, what should you use? The suit looks fine, nice and clean, no mustard stains. Mustard stains. If the suit is I have a mustard stain, it's have a lot to eat than me. <laughs> oh, looks like you didn't have much fun, did you? Looks like, uh, well, uh, thanks for the two dollars. And next time... Uh, Five or twelve, I hope I made it in time. What is this? Everybody in a rush. Surely. Luigi! You two know each other? I know each other. We just did and I have a dinner together. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought you had dozens of addresses like that. Uh, I thought you had dozens of suits like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, please, please, stop, stop, we mustn't laugh. Why not? It's to give me appetite. <laughs> So, Mamma Mia, it turned out it was a beautiful Valentine's Day after all. Shirley and me, we found out that we got a something, and it's a one a bigger thing in a common. No money. <laughs> anyway, after we left the clothes store, I was a feeling very hungry. So we went to, to eat. Well, everything we could want. A feast for a king. Shelley, you sure is all right? Oh, yeah. My folks are asleep. They won't hear us in the kitchen. Mmm. Mmm, is it delicious? Ah. Uh, you know something, Luigi? Please, Shelley, pass it the cheese. There's something very sweet about you. Thank you. And the mustard, too. Mmm, you're, you're sweet, too. Thanks. You know, you got a quality a lot of girls look for in a fella. Thank you. You got a... Some of buttermilk in a refrigerator. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting how hungry you are. That's all right. Ooh, I'm going to forget how late it is. Maybe, maybe I'm a better go. Yeah, maybe. And we'll pick it up some other time. Why, I drop something? <laughs> oh, no, no, I, I, we'll see each other. Oh, sure, sure. I'm going to like to very much. Good night, Shirley. Good night, Luigi. Good night. Uh, Luigi, didn't you forget something? No, I'm got everything. You may say goodnight to me any way you like, Luigi. Any way? Uh-huh. Then I'm a certain Italian, a buona notte. <laughs> Is that how they say goodnight in Italy? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's how we say it in America. You see, Mamma Mia, why I'm like America. <laughs> you love the son of Luigi Basco, the little immigrant. The makers of Wrigley's Furniture and Gum invite you to listen next week at the same time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mac Benoff. J. Carol Nash has starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Ship as Miss Spaulding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Olsen. Music is under the direction of Lutz Buster. Friends, the Wrigley Company invite you to listen to their other program, The Gene Autry Show, every Saturday night over most of these stations. Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.